Prairie dogs. Who are these little critters? They are actually a key species, supporting over 150 other animal species with either food or shelter, and they're so often misunderstood and also mistreated. Rodents in the family of squirrels. They are highly social. And watch this one now. He's going to let out his danger call. Yipping. Yeah, there he goes. Oh yes, danger, danger. That's how they tell each other if there is perceived danger. The other thing they love doing is kissing or sniffing each other when they recognize each other from the same tribe, that's what they do. These are little pups that have lived in there for a while. They were born this summer or this year. A little more kissing, yes, brother, sister. So these prairie dogs live in burrows, elaborate burrows called prairie dog towns. The pups here are playing, they're having a ball, they're still young and babies, so so they have time to be kids for a while. It's, it's so cute. Look at look at this one. <laughs> I get such a kick out of these little ones. These prairie dog towns are spread out in the western United States, but many of them have disappeared. They're either being plowed down or paved over. And this of course hurts those animals that use prairie dogs as food. The number one animal that needs prairie dog to, to eat is the black-footed ferret, which is highly endangered. The government has been trying for years and millions of dollars. Oops, look at this. <laughs> There's quite some rough play going on. Millions of dollars later, the black-footed ferret is still not doing well, partly because we keep eradicating the prairie dogs. 95% of them we have already lost, and yet they are a key species. So eagles, hawks, black-footed ferrets, badgers, coyotes, bobcats, they all need these little guys to eat. And then we have burrowing owls, we have rabbits, we have snakes, we have many others that use their dens for shelter. So prairie dogs are so important. They have developed a highly complex form of communication. The following here is sped up a little so you can just see their habits uh, a little quicker. Their communication is so complex that scientists have called it the most complex in the animal world of all the animals studied. These prairie dogs have the most sophisticated way of communicating. A little sped up here too, this prairie dog is gathering food for the winter. It's going to stash it in their den, probably. Very busy this time of year. And this one is getting ready for winter by eating and putting on some girth. You can tell there is a bit of a girth there. They don't hibernate, but they stay in longer. And in the back, you, you can see other prairie dog doing the same thing. Don't know what he's eating, but looks like it must be very good. And then we have our granddad show up. This one is probably the biggest and fattest prairie dog we've ever seen. He's surveying, surveilling his kingdom here. He finds it all satisfactory. He's saying thank you for watching this video and please become an advocate for us. We want to continue to contribute to the environment. If you like this video, please subscribe below and thank you so much for watching.